Hi Thoughtful Drillers. Today we're going to make a puppet that's going to help us memorize our verse. Here's my puppet that I made earlier. And our verse is Psalm 54 2 and I can make my puppet say the verse. God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words from my mouth. Psalm 54 2. Okay, let's see what we need to make the puppet. Uh, we are going to need a clothespin and uh, some craft foam, some yarn, and some glue dots or some tacky glue. So if you have your Bible drill kit, maybe your circle's already been cut. If not, find uh, something that's about the same diameter as the length of your clothespin because you want it to fit just about like that, okay? So cut your circle and then we need to cut the circle open so that he can open his mouth. So we're gonna fold it like this and we're gonna cut it, but not all the way. We're gonna leave about that much so that he can open his mouth like this, okay? Then we're gonna attach this to the clothespin. And I like to use glue dots. And when you're using a glue dot, you take the release paper. I don't know if you can tell, but the glue dots are on there. We're gonna put these onto the object. So we're gonna put these onto the clothespin and then we're gonna remove the release paper. So let's put it on here. And pull the paper away. I'm gonna do another one. Need to attach them front and back. And then we may want to put one on the bottom too so he can open his mouth. So stick that on and then remove the release paper. There we go. Now, when we stick, when we stick our puppet on, he's gonna be able to open his mouth. So when you're putting it on, be careful that the open part is pointed toward the open end of the clothespin and glue it to the top and to the bottom. So let's see if he's gonna be able to open his mouth. I think I glued him to the table. There we go. Now let's put on the eye. We're gonna use a, another glue dot and here's a little wiggle eye. This time we're gonna put the glue onto the eye then pull away the release paper and then let's put his eye, oh, I'm thinking about right there. How's that look? Okay, now we've got our puppet and he needs some hair. And I thought, you know, since I've got a green puppet, why don't I just make blue hair? That'll look good with green. So you need, need to take your yarn and take about five inches, cut a string, lay that down, and then take the rest of the yarn and around your hand, you're gonna wrap it about 10 times, okay? So we get a nice, big, fluffy pom-pom. So wrap it, then cut it. Now we're gonna lay the wrapped yarn down on the piece of yarn and tie a knot right around the middle. We're gonna tie it once and then tie it again so it'll be nice and secure. There's one, there's two, okay. And then you're gonna go in with your scissors and snip all of those loops so that his hair can frizz out nice and fluffy. There we go, so there's our pom-pom. And let's get another glue dot. This time let's just take the paper. Whoops, I dropped it, let me get another one. Take the paper, stick the middle where the knot is, put that right on the glue dot, and then pull the paper away. That'll leave the, the glue sticking to the pom-pom. And then let's put it right on the top of his head. There we go, there's our puppet. Let's see if we can make him say our verse. God, hear my prayer. Listen to the words from my mouth. Psalm 54, two. I hope you'll have fun making your puppet and learning Psalm 54 too. See you next time.